Max Payne 3, Max Payne 3, Max Payne 3, Max Payne 3. Okay, not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, of course. And I'm playing the game that just came out yesterday. I didn't get a chance to pick it up yesterday because of prior engagements <laughs> work. <laughs> But anyway, this is Max Payne 3, a game by Rockstar, a game that hasn't been out for a long time, and it's been a long time coming. And I've been waiting for this game for a long time. Max Payne is one of the one of my favorite games that I used to play back in the day. And just seeing that they were making this game and actually seeing it released and that I'm playing it is amazing. And not only is that feeling amazing, this game is amazing graphically uh just the atmosphere of the game uh, before this mission i was in a nightclub and it was just absolutely crazy the colors the sounds the uh the gun battles that were a part of it the people just the random people that, that were just in the club the club patrons everything everything is uh pretty much the same man just, you know right here is like when you kill the last enemy you can have like you can zoom in on a bullet and like you can keep shooting and it, it will show the bullets keep smashing into the person and you'll see it again at the end of the video but this part right here i'm actually trying to save this uh i guess max Payne works as like a private security guy him and his partner and uh these these uh, i don't want to call them terrorists they're mercenaries kidnapped the, the rich guy's wife and that girl right there that you just saw was the wife's sister so max is trying to keep her alive and in order for him to do that he has to kill everybody which is like any other max Payne game and right here you see me hanging out of a helicopter shooting down rpg missiles this game is action-packed from the start you know it hasn't really been a dull moment uh the only thing that kind of sucks and it doesn't really suck is that they have pieces of golden guns that's hidden throughout the uh the matches so if you played this game keep an eye out for that because you may have overlooked it and i almost overlooked it so what you do is you find the separate pieces of a golden gun okay once you complete that golden gun whenever you pick up that corresponding weapon it'll be gold i don't know whether that affects the power of the gun or, or something i'm about to do something really stupid right here because my son was like push that guy over the ledge and I was trying to like push him over the edge and uh, epic fail. I ended up falling over the ledge. But anyway, uh, I got the, what is it, the 45. I have that one uh, gold and I think I have a, I have some sort of either rifle or assault rifle that is all gold. And like I said, if you, the enemies have the weapons. So if you pick it up, it turns gold. You still have your painkillers. You still have bullet time. You still have all the things that make Max Payne, uh, Max Payne, basically. And see, right here, they have this thing that when you're about to die, the person that, that is about to kill you, it sends you in the bullet time. And if you kill that person, then you stay alive. The only drawback is it uses a painkiller to keep you alive, which isn't really a bad thing. Painkillers aren't... Uh, necessarily plentiful in this game but they're not scarce to the point where you're starving for painkillers i i don't know whether that will change uh depending on your difficulty level i have it on medium because i like a bit of a challenge but at the same time i don't want the, the game to piss me off to the point to where i don't want to play it i'm going to beat it on medium and then i'll probably end up going through it on uh hard because I want to see where this where this uh, storyline is going. I want to know what's going to happen. And once I know that, I can play through the, the game on hard and not really give a damn. Because I already know what's going to happen. I'm just going through it for the challenge. Right here, you see me searching the bathroom stalls for golden guns. I'm looking through every corner and every room that I can get into for these golden gun pieces. It's an, an actual, a really good uh, extra game like a side game to to the main game and it, it it allows you to explore and you can actually see the detail in each of the levels uh this is just max and his partner right here i can't think of the dude's name but um it, like i said action-packed it flows perfectly there's no downtime the only downtime is when you're searching for golden guns and that's only here or there 
right now is a sniper up there and we're about to run you got to haul ass down this corridor into another room before this sniper hits you otherwise as soon as it hits you if it hits you you're done you're dead and it got me because uh what was it right not right here but one of the times i did it i saw the sniper and i was shooting at it i was like i'm about to kill him right now but no you can't it's a specific time in the game where you have to kill him other other than that man i love this game uh i'm gonna be putting up videos of this game sporadically this will probably end up being the uh uh end up showing up on the newscast that's gonna be happening uh friday we may or may not have one this friday because i'm actually doing a lot of work and it's gonna consume me i'm gonna be on 12 hour shifts and it's gonna suck so uh but if i don't do one on friday it's gonna happen this weekend and max Payne will definitely be featured on the game show look at this right here and you can actually see me keep shooting them but yeah uh uh like comment subscribe spread the word this game is awesome if you have the game let me know uh, especially if you play it online because I haven't played multiplayer yet, but um, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studio. I'm going back to play some more Max Payne 3 and watch basketball. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. Thank you for the love. I appreciate you all, and I'm out.